Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently, Indian Army Air Defense Brigade organized orientation capsule for CISF personnel on counter drone measures in Pune. The image what you are seeing is from that exercise. The air defense system used by Indian Army to defend against variety of aerial threats such as fighter jets, helicopters and UAVs. In this image, we can see three important systems which is used which are IGLA 1M manpad, ZU-23 twin barrel auto cannon and a reporter radar. The first system regarding which we are going to talk about is IGLA 1M. It is a Russian man portable infrared homing surface to air missile system. Its first version IGLA 1 entered into service in 1981. During the Operation Trishul Shakti in 1992, this system had shot down a Pakistani helicopter in Siachin, which killed Brigadier Masood Navid Anwari of Pakistan Army, who was the then commander of Northern Areas and other troops on board. The huge loss stalled the attack from Pakistan. This missile system has also scored kill against an American F-16 during Gulf War on 27 February 1991. Most recently, this has been quite in talk when Ukrainian forces claimed to shoot down a Russian cruise missile with IGLA system. The newest variant of this missile family is IGLA-S, which has more sensitive seeker improved resistant to latest countermeasures, a heavier warhead and hit probability between 0.8 to 0.9, that is 80% to 90%. With a warhead of 1.5 times larger than its predecessor, IGLA S also offers 20% increased range and able to hit targets at a distance of 6 km and altitude of 3 km with all weather capability. The total weight of the system, which is ready to shoot, is 19 kg, which includes the weight of missile, which is 11 kg. The missile can carry 2.5 kg of warhead and uses HMX or high melting explosives. As per the latest report of UN Register of Conventional Arms, Russia has supplied nearly 2,184 missiles and launchers to India and 390 manpads which are IGLAS systems. The Indian Army has also been using Swedish L-70 and Soviet-era ZU-23MM guns as a close-in weapon system for air defense. These guns have now been heavily upgraded with latest electronics to convert them into a drone killer. The ZU-23 gun mounts two 23mm auto cannons on a small trailer which can be converted into a stationary mount for firing the guns. While in this position, the wheels are moved aside as you can see in the video. The auto cannon can be prepared for firing from the march position in 30 seconds and in emergency, it can also fire while traveling. Indian Army has heavily upgraded these guns, which converts the manually laid gun into an all-electric system with autonomous functionality. It enables effective engagement of aerial and ground targets as well. It incorporates the automatic target tracking and complies with the operating and storage temperatures, humidity, dust and rain protection requirements. The upgrade replaces the manual laying system with a rugged EOFCS system. This will provide the ability to engage targets during day and night in plain, desert or in mountain. It will also feature a day and night camera, laser rangefinder and a digital fire control computer. The upgraded gun can engage aerial targets out of a distance of 2500 meter flying at a speed of 300 meter per second it can practically fire 400 rounds per minute. The next one is Swedish L-70 gun, which is a 40 mm auto cannon capable of firing both sabot projectiles and programmable ammunition. It has rate of fire varying between 240, 300 and 330 rounds per minute. Its effective range is around 4 kilometers. It has also been upgraded heavily by Indian Army to add features like electrical servo drives, electro-optical fire control system and video tracking. The army has in excess of 1000 pieces of L-70 gun in its inventory and upgrades are being performed at Jabalpur based gun carriage factory in partnership with Bharat Electronics Limited. 
the all hydraulic drives have been replaced with electric drives for precise aiming and movement it has integrated fire control system with optronic sight consisting of eye safe laser range finder day light tv and thermal imager it has fire control computer which aims at target depending upon the feedback from the optronic sight and israeli tactical control or fire control radar it consists of video display which shows real time display from the optical side it also consists of joystick for manual fire and control mode the gun has a range of 3.5 km and can bring down all unmanned aerial vehicles unmanned combat aerial vehicles attack helicopters and modern aircraft this gun has ability to be integrated with tactical and fire control radars which gives it more flexibility in deployment The upgraded gun system operates along with high-end Israeli radar and can be counted among the best available air defense gun in its class. The sizable number of upgradable L-70 anti-aircraft gun are deployed at forward location along the line of actual control near Tawang area in Arunachal Pradesh. This gun has also been used at LOC in direct fire role against Pakistani bunkers. Now, what makes Zu-23 and L-70 guns more lethal is the reporter radar. It is an early warning, alerting and queuing system including weapon control functions especially designed to be highly mobile and easily transportable. It has a range of 40 km and is capable of multiple target handling and engagement. It is planned to be replaced with Atulya fire control radar in the future. In the month of December We have seen Chinese UV activities has increased across the eastern sector of LSE. The biggest advantage of Zu-23 and L-70 gun is its accuracy and rate of fire. If given the correct coordinates which can be done with the help of radar, it can easily take down the aerial threats. These guns have been now successfully integrated with radars after undergoing heavy upgrade which will make Chinese drones, aircraft and helicopters an easy target in the closer range. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.